What's up YouTube, Big Sweet C here with you, and if you don't happen to live under a rock, you've probably already heard. If you haven't, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs on winning Super Bowl 54 over the San Francisco 49ers, 31-20. to It was a fantastic game. Looked like the 49ers were going to pretty much control the whole thing. They, they pretty much dominated 53 minutes of that game, and the last seven were completely overrun by the Kansas City Chiefs, and what a game it was. Uh, my hat's off to Patrick Mahomes, becomes the youngest Super Bowl MVP of all time. Uh, excuse me, the youngest quarterback Super Bowl MVP of all time. He is the third youngest person to ever win the Super Bowl MVP award. Um, but he is also the third person ever to win a, an MVP and make it to a Super Bowl within their first three years of uh, of playing professional football. I believe Dan Marino is one of the others, and I uh, I would have to think about it for a little bit to um, to think of the other guy. But if, uh, if you are in the same class as Dan the Man Marino, you are in very, very good company. Um, my hat's off to Andy Reid. He won his 222nd game, regular season and playoffs. It took him 21 seasons and two attempts at it, but he finally got the monkey off his back and uh, and won the big game. He is a Super Bowl champion head coach now and well-deserved. He has a lineage of coaches and assistants in the league now that all all went on to great success after, uh, after learning from Andy Reid. So for Andy to finally get the uh, the monkey off his back and and win the big one i uh, i can't i can't express how happy i am for him and his family and uh, and the great state of kansas or missouri <laughs> uh ah yes if you guys haven't heard yet our wonderful president uh the genius big brain that he is uh thanked uh, congratulated the great state of kansas the problem is Kansas does not have a professional football team. Kansas City is actually in the great state of Missouri. Uh, so a um, little reminder, do your homework, pay attention in geography class, uh, and uh, you'll sound more presidential than our actual president. So congratulations to them. Uh, I do want to say it was not just a fantastic game, but it looks like the Kansas City Chiefs might end up being the next New England Patriots. They have a very young roster. Andy Reid, even though he's been in the league for 21 years as a head coach, he's really only 61. So we might be we might be seeing the beginning of of a straight title run that we've never seen before, um, even greater than uh, than what the New England Patriots have been able to put together. Uh, for the last 10 plus years. So I, uh, I'm i excited to see it happen. I, uh, I, I'm i a big, big supporter of the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, as you guys can see, I mean, I'm a Detroit Lions fan. Grew up in Michigan. Barry Sanders has been my favorite player since I was like two years old. But um, as a Lions fan, we are also allowed to root for other teams because our team basically has no chance at ever winning a championship. So um, so I, uh, I do like other teams out there. Kansas City Chiefs happen to be one of them. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, I think, is the next stage in quarterback evolution. Uh, he is he's a lot different than most people think. So a lot of people kind of lump him together with um, like the Lamar Jacksons and maybe the Colin Kaepernick's because he's also happens to be very athletic. But what uh, separates... Patrick Mahomes from the rest of that crew is he is also a very intelligent football player and you saw it on display last night he was going through one two three four progressions uh, in the pocket before either taking a chance to run for a first down or uh, or throwing it to some guy that you'd never heard of before uh, and so the ability for him to not only be able to use his legs to pick up first downs, but also go through reads and progressions uh, only should only bring hope to Kansas City Chief fans everywhere. Um, 
my hats off to the San Francisco 49ers as well for making it to the Super Bowl. They have a fantastic defense and a very, very good run offense. Uh, but um, not to be uh, not to be Mr. Disappointing, I I was expecting a lot more out of Mr. Jimmy Garoppolo, and I didn't see it. So uh, it is as great as I think the 49ers are as a team. Uh, I think they are still missing that one piece uh, that's that's really going to put them over the top um, because it uh, it came down to it. There was a couple of times there at the end of the game where Jimmy G just needed to make one drive uh, and he he couldn't complete a pass, couldn't pick up a first down on third down, and um, he just didn't he didn't look like the guy. And uh, you know I hate to be the bearer of bad news to the Forty ers but. Um, he doesn't look like uh, he doesn't look like Patrick Mahomes, and he's been in the league a lot longer than Patrick Mahomes. So there's probably a good chance he's never going to develop into the guy at quarterback. Uh, having said that, nobody thought that Tom Brady would be the guy. Uh, so I mean, there's still there's still time. He's still fairly young. He's been in the league about six seven years now five six seven years now so he does have time to develop and i think kyle shanahan has done a fantastic job with the 49ers um having said that it's not like they were that bad of a team when he took over you know they i mean this is the second super bowl appearance in eight years for the 49ers john harbaugh jim harbaugh sorry jim harbaugh uh left that team in pretty decent condition when kyle shanahan took over um and so I think they've got a, a lot to work with. I do think they will be uh, contenders in the NFC for a very long time. But the truth is the NFC is a lot deeper than the AFC. AFC is pretty fairly top-heavy. You've got uh, the Chiefs. You've got the Ravens. Um, you've got the the Patriots are always a tough team. Uh, but for the most part, there's only three or four teams. Titans look like they might be contenders for a little while. The Texans are always one of those teams that could come out and uh, and put up 50 points on you at any given time. So there are a few teams out there that could at any moment get on a hot streak and just win it. But it's uh, it's nothing, nothing like the NFC where you've got, uh, you know, the 49ers and the Seahawks and the Rams have all played in Super Bowls uh, fairly recently. They're in the same division. Then you've got the 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 Packers and the Vikings and the Chicago Bears. They've all won thirteen plus games several time a couple of times uh, in in previous years. You've got the Saints are a perennial powerhouse. Um, Falcons just went to the Super Bowl, so the the NFC is a lot more stacked, uh, a lot more close in competition than the AFC is. So. Um, don't be surprised if there's a lot of changeover in the NFC, not so much in the AFC. Um, having said that, uh, I do think the 49ers are a fantastic team. I just think they might need that one extra piece uh, where Jimmy Polo might not be the guy that they thought he was going to be. Um, but I, uh, who knows? What do I know? I'm just some YouTuber sitting here in my pajama pants telling you guys what I think. Uh, but Patrick Mahomes was the MVP, uh, well-deserved MVP. I actually kind of thought it should have gone to Damian Williams, uh, the gentleman who caught the go-ahead touchdown and then had that last 38-yard touchdown run to uh, really secure the game. I kind of thought it should have been him. Uh, but, I mean, they always give it to the quarterback, so I can, I can understand that too. Um, now, the crazy thing is... Uh, a lot of people say that professional sports are uh, they're pre-written, predestined, if you will. Uh, it it kind of had a little feeling like that. I mean, you have Super Bowl four and then Super Bowl fifty four. Literally fifty years later, the Kansas City Chiefs win. Um, but there was a lot of other things too. So the date happened to be o two o two twenty twenty. It happened to be Andy Reid's two hundred twenty second win of all time. Um, after 21 seasons, I, there, a lot of twos in there, a lot of twos in there. Uh, so it, it's it's his second time on his second team. So I, you know, I don't I don't want to get into too many conspiratorial thoughts on that, but uh, it, it it just seemed that it was Kansas City's year, and um, you can't really be mad at that. Uh, like I said, the 49ers pretty much dominated 53 minutes of that game, 
And um, the last seven minutes, Kansas City was like, there, there's no way we're losing this game. They made, uh, they made two big, big stops on defense. Um, one was a third and nine or something like that, and then the other was a, uh, a fourth and ten. Uh, and then the offense uh, did their part, and they put the ball in the end zone uh, when they needed to. So um, there are a lot of bright spots. Don't get me wrong for the 49ers. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be shooting himself in the foot for the next six months. Uh, he had a wide open Emmanuel Sanders uh, for a touchdown that would have put them back in the lead, 27-24, uh, and that could have that could have totally totally changed the game. So there is there is a lot to be hopeful in San Francisco, uh, but when it comes push to shove, I uh, I didn't see enough out of Jimmy G to really say that he is he's going to be that guy that puts him over the top. So. Uh, but uh, I, I digress. Again, this is about the Kansas City Chiefs. Super congratulations to them. I uh, I hope one day that the Detroit Lions uh, get to uh, get to play them in the Super Bowl or anybody in the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm praying for that day because uh, in the '60s, the '50s, and the '60s, the the Lions were the team. And um, uh, one day, one day, hopefully soon, uh, they will be the team again. So. Um, coincidentally, it was actually the Lions' defensive scheme against the Kansas City Chiefs that the Patriots used in the regular season to uh, deliver Kansas City's uh, first loss of the season. Um, but as you can see, uh, the genius of Andy Reid was able to uh, change his style throughout the uh, throughout the regular season enough to uh, to uh, make it over the top and. Um, and win that Super Bowl. So, big, big congratulations to Kansas City. A uh, a big, big congratulations to 49er Niner gang out there. You guys had a fantastic season. Uh, anytime you can make it through the NFC, uh, like I like I always say, the NFC is is much much tougher to go through than the AFC. So, getting to the Super Bowl um, is quite the accomplishment in, in itself. So don't don't feel bad, 49ers fans. I know I know it hurts now. Uh, but you guys had a fantastic season. You just kind of, it just happened to be Kansas City's season this year. So congratulations to Patrick Mahomes on his MVP win. Congratulations to head coach Andy Reid on his first Super Bowl win. And uh, big congratulations to the great state of Missouri, Kansas City, uh, Kansas City Chiefs on uh, the Super Bowl 54 victory. Either way, that's going to do it for this one. Big Sweet C, that's me wishing YouTube, that's you. Wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it might be. Long as you're watching, I'm wishing you a wonderful watching time. Sweetness, signing off. Peace.